We ought to be out you get it. Sigma, hand me You three came in through the blue door, right? And which Bee Garden? What about you? Well. So, it sounds a lot like... You wanna... we can go back? So? They're why this is called a treatment center. Those pods can cure a number of illnesses. How about you climb in one of them, Dio? Why? Well, maybe it can fix whatever's wrong with your brain. Uh, hey! You wanna start something, lady? Calm down now, son. You don't cool off a bit and I'll have to throw you in one of these pods here. Huh? Why? Aren't you paying attention? They have a cold sleep function. I figured that ought to cool your head up. Yeah? According to some records, we've three people. You mean three? We don't know. All we found was. No idea. Part of the logs. All that's left is when the cold records them thawing. Then they could be anyone. <laughs> well, because you don't need a device like this to freeze Alice. Am I wrong? Huh? What are you talking about? You don't need to play dumb. The water in your body isn't normal water, it's something called Ice 9. It freezes at 96.8 degrees. That means all you have to do to put yourself in cold sleep is drop your body temperature below 96.8. No fancy machine needed. Where on earth did you hear that? From Clover. Clover? When we were exploring the lounge during the first round. I see. <laughs> oh man, you fell for that one hook, line, and sinker, didn't you? Clover was messing with you. That is, if she even said anything to you at all. It was a lie. A joke? A joke? No, there's no way it was a joke. I'm sure about it. Well, you're mistaken. It's a ridiculous misunderstanding. An urban legend. They say that the mummy find- And ever since then, I've had people say they thought I was her. I mean, really? How could anyone believe something so ridiculous? The existence of this mysterious Alice and of this ice that doesn't melt are just urban legends. It can't just be because your name's Alice. There are tons of Alices. Is it because of your face and how you look? Well, it is true that I am both beautiful and elegant. Can I really be blamed if people think I'm an Egyptian queen? I don't think that's the only reason, though. Someone who made that mistake said something to me once. They claimed they'd seen me before. Of course, I immediately pressed the issue. Do you mean the mummy, Alice? I s When? Where? Of course, they were at a loss. In fact, I began to feel a little sorry for them. So I told them something. If you're so convinced, then maybe I am actually Alice. But maybe I've lost my memory and can't remember who I am. I'm still not sure why Clover would tell you something like that, though. Even if she was just messing with you, it seems a little out of left field. You really think she put that much thought into it? She was probably just screwing with him, and maybe she wanted to see if she could get him to believe something completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I could see her doing something like that. Well, I think that's enough idle gossip for now. The cold sleep business is interesting. We should go see if the other team has returned to the warehouse yet. It looks like the same warehouse. Hey, look. Three. They're all. I'd bet. Look, they've got the. So they have an. And we did.
Oh, thank goodness. You finally returned. I was beginning to get anxious. Yes, it's Quark, you see. What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. Please, you must hurry to Clover is looking after him. You should go. Oh, no. Quark, come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? Then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Save? Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. You son of a bitch. This is serious. The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with it. Luna? Right, you have a medical license, don't you? Wait, is that true? Well, yes, but... You have these. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I think that machine it's called and it uses new... Yes, I believe it can... I don't want to rush you, but the sooner the better. Just let us know if you... Of course. So Quark has... Oh no. Yes, he's been infected. Uh, yeah, I told Alice and Tenmyoji about it. Fi and I heard about it from Luna. He can't... How could he have gotten it? There must be something we can do! How can we cure him? Well, Adam says there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. Where is it? Shouldn't it be in the infirmary somewhere? Yeah, we looked around, but we didn't see anything. I don't... I'm asking... I'm sorry, you was telling the truth. We didn't find anything. Damn it. What about the other rooms? Sigma, what about you? <laughs> What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? We visited the laboratory. There were a number of chemicals and concoctions there, some of which were medicine. But nothing like what we're searching for, I'm afraid. Oh, God. At least... He's going to... Oh, God, no. No, there was nothing even remotely like it. You went there too, didn't you? The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. <laughs> Quark! Oh, thank God. You're awake! Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you... <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I have to... Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to... Escape! But... Like... This! Yeah. Right. On it. Me too. Oh, right. Damn you! Bad! Why won't I have? They can't believe you have. Let them. Let me. I kill some. It kill can. <laughs> Luna. Yeah. Are there any? No. What? what? There's. Sober. That's the one that. Good. Hit him. He'll be. It's just. It won't. But. Just her. Come on. Okay. Let me just. Okay. I've got. It. Good. Wait until he. Now. Do it. Right. No. Stop. Stop. According to the... Yes. What about the anesthetic? How long will it... He shouldn't wake up. 
Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I, it probably... Yeah? Huh? Oh, How much... Oh, I... All I've seen... Why would I lie about... I've seen other viruses do the same thing. So when Park tried to kill himself... Yes, at least I think so. <laughs> What are you doing? We're all going to die. Huh? We're all dead already. Only terrorists would resort to biological... Hey, what the hell are you talking about? You don't understand? All of humanity is going to die. The virus will spread. Adults, children, everyone, everyone! There won't be anyone left! I... I'd rather die here! Her. Well, let's split up and look. Quickly. She can... Right. Look, if you find her, it's probably best not to shout or anything. Just do your best not to provoke her. Understood? Ten Miyoji. I think you should stay here with Quark. The rest of us can look for Alice. Sound good? I stay... All right, let's get going. There you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. Looks like it. Doesn't look like she has it. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here.
All right, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. She has also been infected with... Oh, no. No! What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's a special... Do you know what an... Immunogoblin? It's another name for antibodies. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. Right. I thought of that too, unfortunately. Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but the only way we can help... Out but the pods will keep... Yes. Well then what one of you grab... We're going to the treatment center. What? Well, what is it? Excelivir! You found it, Sigma! That's the one thing that can cure Radical Six! Uh, why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. We explored the laboratory. It was on the other side of the red door. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask. It didn't feel... appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for it after that. And to be honest, it had also slipped my mind. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Who cares about the details? We have it! Hurry up and give it to her, Luna. Hey, hold on a minute! What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um, I'm sorry, but... I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun, and the way it functions. In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right. Nothing. That one bottle was it. No, unfortunately not. No. Oh god. Just enough medicine for one dose. Only one person can be saved. Who should we give it to? Alice or Quark? Then what are we going to do? How? Do you know what immunoglobulin is? It's another name for antibodies. Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. Yeah, probably copies... Who knows? Ice cream, but... Uh, what? Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG Replicator on it. Clover and I examined it thoroughly. Yeah, we never could figure out what it did, though. Exactly. My question is, how do you know about it, Sigma? When was that? Probably when you were looking for Alice, right? If what he's saying is true, then we should be able to duplicate the Excelivir. That would mean we could cure Alice and Quark. Hmm. Let's go have a look then. The laboratory, right? Yeah, no time to waste. Oh, of course. I'd be happy to.
so this is the lab, huh? Yes. Where's this IG replicator thing? So this can copy the Accelivere? What are we waiting for? Skip it. Just press the damn thing. Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. So, it worked? Would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. What happened? You dropped one of them? What in the hell? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? Uh, guys? You see? It did break! No, the vial's fine. See? Then what the heck is going on down there? Take a look. Whoa. Really? That makes two, then. Guess Kay was right after all. So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No. It... Yeah, I didn't see anything, and I looked real hard. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. Who the hell would do that? No, not any of us. I was back in the infirmary. Quark was still out. So we shouldn't consider you a suspect, is that right? Yeah. But Tenmyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary. Do what? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb. That's insane! Listen to yourself! There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a goddamn bomb! Hey, what's this thing? It looks like a... memory card. Where was it? Um... Right under the bomb. It was down on the floor under the table. Could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb? There was nothing like it here when we... Unless it was left here intentionally, yes. I imagine so. What do you think's on it? Yeah, I... So what do we do? Ten minutes remain. All play if no. Uh, guys? Yeah, here we've got what we came here for. Um, what should we do about the, uh, bomb? Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch them. True. Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. Right now we need to take care of Alice and Quark. Right. This ought to do it. It might take a little while, but they should recover. Are they really going to be all right? Yes, the analysis I did on the, the original, now that they've been- It's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. I believe so, yes. Oh man, I was really worried. Five minutes. All right, if we can be relieved- Right now we need to- Damn, don't even have to- Ah, oh, he stayed back in the infirmary. 
Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. So I asked him if he was coming, and this is what I... <sighs> I'm still worried about it. I think I'll stick around and make sure... I see. That means that Fi's only opponent will be Dio. Ugh. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. I plan to choose Ally. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose Ally and I betray- I wanna win. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Tenmyoji- Tenmyoji only had one BP left. Since Dio said he's going to pick an Ally, Fi can't really pick anything else. If she does, Tenmyoji will- Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Kay and I are going to be going one-on-one -on -one too, right? Since Quark's still sleeping. That is correct. <laughs> I've got six. As do I. If one of them can get the other to ally, and then betray that person... Look, Kay, I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but... I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yeah? Y yeah. I agree. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. We would lose nothing either. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points. Right. You're really gonna do it, right? Yes. Promise? Promise. One minute. Rem Shit, this is- We need to move, now! Indeed. Shall we? <laughs> Sounds good. Thirty seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Probably a little late to say this, but you know Alice is still in the infirmary, so... Yes. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Round two reason thank you, Ambede. Why? What happened to it's not fair to betray someone who isn't voting? I thought <laughs> Really? We already know what they are. It's just simple math. Results from round two. Please don't. Points have. Please check your bracelet. You'd get an easy couple points, huh? Not so easy when you have to look your victim in the eye, is it? Coward. <laughs> well, you gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Tenmyoji told me. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, honestly. But you should still be under the effects of the anesthetic. Yes, well, I still am. A bit. I have a throbbing headache, and I can barely stand. I'm more resistant to anesthetics than most people, a result of my training. I have a feeling Zero Senior knew that. They gave me way more than the standard dose of that gas when they kidnapped me. In any event, a fume Tenmyoji explained what was going on and I... 
Yes. Right in the nick of time, too. About ten seconds before the deadline, as I recall. You did that just so you could betray us? Right. What? Don't I get to do that? I mean, it turned out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? You two chose betray. If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. So, you're saying it was self-defense? Yes. <laughs> So what if I was? <laughs> Don't be stupid. I knew you'd choose Betray. There was... That is the truth. Why am I the only one getting the third degree here? Look at those results. Two other people just tried to kill someone. Yes. If Dia had chosen Ally, and if she'd chosen Ally... I don't want to be rude, but it looks like Clover and Kay tried to trick one another now that it seems to have worked. If either one had chosen Ally, the other one would have 9 BP right now. My apologies, Sigma, but I need to think on something for a bit. I would appreciate being left alone. I'll be leaving too. Things are getting a little too intense here for my delicate constitution. Sorry. Well, in that case, yeah, sorry. See? There's your answer. In the end, everyone's just thinking about themselves. So I would appreciate it if you could not treat me like I'm the only villain here. Come on, Clover. Let's go. Hold on! I'm coming! Are you feeling okay? I was really worried, you know? Everyone's gone. I know, but I still believe in you, Sigma. I think your hand must have just slipped or something, right? <laughs> the Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex stock. There is no set limit. The Yes, as long as we have the star keys, that means we can keep playing the AB game over and over too. Um, Sigma? Could you show me your bracelet? Do you remember what Zero Jr. said? Uh, a pair of solo assignments, huh? I'm a mat- They could be anything, I suppose. We won't know until we have a look. Everyone else has gone off on their own. Maybe it would help if we all had a common goal. Something to unite our hearts and minds. Well, what if we have an enemy? Yes, a common like the person who set the bombs. Right. Well, do you have... What's this? Really? Oh, I guess we can't really use it then. Oh, wait a second. You know what? I think I might have seen something. Yes, I remember. The inf I saw there was a... M yes, I think the computer... What are you doing here?
Okay. Then stick it in already! Go ahead. <laughs> Hmm. Six rows, 22 letters each. It looks like the odd rows use one set of letters, and the even rows use another set. In other words, the first two rows just repeat. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look random to me. I think there might be a pattern. Was there anything else on there? No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Does any of this look familiar to you, Clover? Um, what do you mean? Have you seen something like this before? Maybe during your training? Uh, this is... So you do recognize it. All right, knock it off, you two. How about you share it with the rest of the class? I believe this is an encoded message from a terrorist organization. What? They call themselves the Myrmidons. What are the Myrmidons? Put simply, they're a bunch of... So this thing... you think it's theirs? Well, they have a number of different codes, but I do think this is one of them. Then the bomb? It was set by one of the Myrmidons, wasn't it? Yes. Well, I can't say for sure, of course, but it seems likely. I don't know. How am I supposed to decode it? I don't have the key. Without a key? It would take literally hundreds of years to decode. What about you, Clover? Well, if Alice doesn't know how, I sure don't. Uh, hmm. That's... Sorry, but I can't. Because you might be one of them. Really? And where's your proof? For all I know, you're my enemy. I'm sorry. How long are you going to keep following me? Then why don't you just ask Clover? You already know she works with me. Then why don't you... Why? What are you talking about? You don't hate me? I... I tried to kill you. Yes. I was so scared. Who wouldn't be? And then we found that bomb. I know I probably sounded calm, but as soon as we found that thing, all I wanted to do was run away from it as fast. Things just went downhill from there. I remember hearing that Quark had collapsed. When I got there, I realized I couldn't understand what anyone was saying. And everything looked... Then I started to feel like... It's hard to explain. I guess you could say I didn't feel like I was myself. <laughs> yes, I think so. I don't remember much after that. But when I woke up in the infirmary, suddenly all that fear was back. So I... All I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. God help me, it, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. See? I'm horrible. You hate me, don't you? Just do it! Kill me! Get it over with! You're lying! I could have killed you! I would have killed you! Why are you doing this? You know... You kind of remind me of my father. Yes. Will you promise not to tell Clover that I cried? If you keep your mouth shut, I'll tell you what you want to know about myself and about the Mirrodons. Really? 